Hello everybody and welcome to my e-lesson. I'm your guru and in this video, I'll teach you how to use the find and replace feature of MS Word. Well, there would be a, around seven things that I would be covering. Let us go about them one by one. I'm using the MS Word version 2013. So, however, the features that I'll be telling you would be working very easily and very well in 2007 and 10 also. All right. So, here we go. So, first of all, Finding text in, uh, in a document, say for example, this is a document that we have created and we want to find some text in it. So what we do is, we do a control F and this is 2013, so this dialog box opens up over here. However, when you would, if you're using 2007 or 10, uh, what would happen uh, when you press control F, a dialog box like this would open. So we, we will work with this only. So for example, I want to find click, C-L-I-C-K, click. So I'll type that name over here and we'll click on find next. So it was able to find it over here. We'll click next again and it was able to find it over here. Here and that was it now you can also click this reading highlight highlight all so wherein it will tell you it will highlight all the places where this specific word is found simple as that now this we were able to find it pretty easily because i was at the top of this document so all the clicks that were written were written below where my cursor was now however uh, in case you are your cursor is placed at in the in this area and you can clearly see that there are two click words that i mentioned above see what will happen if i try to search click again view excel uh, sorry ms word would not find these it will only search downward so we can actually change that direction also i'll show you how by default it searches down now we can change the direction we'll press ctrl f we'll open the screen which should which you should be seeing in 2007 or 10 and 13 it's simple over here so we click on more and now we click this option search you can click on up, all, and down. Now, what would happen with all? That first, it will actually search down. Once it is, it reaches the bottom. Then it will ask you to uh, to give it permission to search from above, as it has exhausted its search in the bottom section. That is how it works. So that was the finding text and at the beginning of the document thing. Now, finding an exact bit of text. Now, what would happen, say, for example, you have written this two, all right, T or two over here. And we would, uh, in this document, there would be multiple places where would be, we would be having this word two, correct? Multiple places. However, I only want to find, uh, that word, uh, I only want to identify the two where the T is capital. How can I do that? Well, I can do that using the exact match for uh, match option in finding text. I'll click on, you can also go to uh, uh, the find dialog box using this find option over here. And what I'll do is I'll type in two, see this is case sensitive. So I'll type in two and here I will select match case and then I'll click on find next and you'll see that it has found this. It's very, very effective, very effective. Now you can also find a whole word like for example, I have this word over here, right? And rightly all right now when i try to find right it would also identify rightly also for me 
automatically. See, let, let's try this version. R I G H T word right. So I'll try to find it. All right. So we'll type it over here. Say right and see it has highlighted right over here and right over here also. Now, what if I only wanted to find this right? So what I could do is I'll, I'll go to that advanced section and click on find whole words only the here and then I'll say find next. See, it will only highlight this right, the one I'm looking at, looking for. Now, you can also use wildcard characters in MS Word. Now, wildcard characters are really, really something good. Say, for example, I there, there are two wildcard characters that we'll be using. We'll be using a question mark and an asterisk. Question mark stands for a single character and asterisk stands for n number of characters. Alright, so say we are trying to find a word which starts with V and should have say or we are trying to find a word which starts with F and has two more letters after it. So let's try to find that. Control F. We'll open this section that the dialog box over here. And I'll type V, sorry, F and two question marks. That means I'm looking for a word which has F as a starting word and has two letters following it. Or it may be the case that F may not be the first word, but they, it, it may be, uh, it may find F in the middle of a word wherein two more letters would be following it. So let's, let's find that. How do we do that? Well, we simply type this over here and click on use wildcards and then find next. See, F and two characters. Now you can see only one character. Well, space is also counted as a character. Full of O, uh, sorry, F F L. <laughs> Isn't it cool? It's a wonderful feature. Let, let's try with the asterisk function. Asterisk works like this, like I want to find a section in this MS Word document which wherein a word starts with, wherein there is letter V and then there is, there are a lot of characters in between and this thing ends with S. So we'll click on use wildcards and find next see now it is finding a combination which starts with the letter V and ends with the letter S that's the combination do you see this it is not restricted to any length it will go to it, it will just find these combinations and define them for you and find variations of a word like for example I have used these two words over here walk and walked now what I want to find is that wherever uh, MS word finds word which are similar to walk walked walking so it would highlight them for you so we can do that also we'll uh, do a control F and we will type in walk and we will select the option find all word forms Click on find next. See it has chosen walked also. We'll start from again. Walk and walk. These are very, very handy features. Very handy features. And last but not the least, replace. Now, now for example, uh, you have something mentioned. You have mentioned offline over here. There's a word offline. However, we want to say that wherever we say this word offline, it should be turned into online. So what we'll do is we'll do a control H. We'll type offline and replace it with online. And it will now we'll click on find next. It will find this word 
and we'll then click replace see it has replaced it we can click on again find next it will find the another uh, the next offline word and you can replace it you can replace them together also all together by simply clicking on replace all as simple as that well i hope you like this video you found it useful so until the next video this is your guru signing off for the day have a wonderful day ahead happy learning